Who let the dogs out? Well, if you're asking that question, chances are you haven't met some of the eccentric dog owners we're about to introduce. Buckle up, folks, because we're diving into the world of dogs and their humans, where the lines between pet and owner blur in the most hilarious ways possible. First up, meet Bob. Bob's a big fan of Elvis Presley, and his obsession extends to his bulldog, Brutus. With a custom-made Elvis wig and a collar that blares hound dog whenever Brutus barks, Bob has made sure his dog is the king of the canine world. It's all fun until Brutus starts barking at 3 in the morning, giving the neighbors a very early morning rock and roll concert. Next we have Sarah. Sarah loves knitting and has a terrier named Daisy, who's her constant companion. Sarah's love for knitting and Daisy came together in an interesting way. Daisy now owns a collection of over 50 hand-knitted sweaters, one for each week of the year, and some extra just for good measure. Daisy's not too thrilled about her wardrobe, but Sarah swears Daisy gets cold easily. Then there's Mike, a fitness fanatic who owns a dachshund named Slinky. Mike decided Slinky needed to join his daily workout routine, so now Slinky has his mini treadmill and does a full 30-minute workout every day. Slinky's become quite the fit sausage, and Mike swears he can see a six-pack forming. Linda is our next dog owner. Linda is a vegan and decided that her poodle, Fluffy, should be too. Fluffy now enjoys a diet of tofu, vegetables, and vegan dog biscuits. Linda insists Fluffy loves his new diet, but we're not so sure Fluffy agrees. Now let's not forget about Pam, who runs a doggy spa for her Pomeranian Fluffy. Fluffy's daily routine includes massages, facials, and even podicures. Pam goes all in with all natural dog-friendly products and even a custom-made massage table. She insists Fluffy loves it, although we're not entirely sure Fluffy appreciates the cucumbers. Pam goes all in with all natural dog-friendly products and even eye masks. Regardless, Fluffy might be the most pampered pooch in town, living the doggy dream one spa day at a time. So who let the dogs out? Well, it seems like the dogs never really got a chance to get out. They're too busy living their owner's lives from rocking out to Elvis, modeling knitted sweaters, hitting the treadmill, or trying to appreciate vegan cuisine. In conclusion, dogs might be man's best friend, but when it comes to these owners, it's more like dogs are man's most patient friend. Here's to dogs for putting up with our quirks, our obsessions, and our love, even when it comes in the form of an Elvis wig or a vegan biscuit. As for the owners, keep doing you. After all, it's these unique bonds that make the world of dogs and their humans such a fascinating and hilarious place. So with these funny and hilarious examples, the question remains, is the dog man's best friend, or is it the other way around? That man is a dog's best friend. What do you think? Drop us a comment below.